We're here for the gender reveal. And what do you think it's going to be? A girl. What do you think it's going to be? A boy. <laughs> I, just, I think it's going to be a girl because I just want to put that energy out into the universe. <laughs> I Don't better be a girl happen. or Becky's in trouble. <laughs> Jay. Yeah. Girl or boy? What is the vote going to be? Girl. Because you're so low. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. But you had what a boy a right before? I had a boy. Was it high? He was super high. I know. He was way up here. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> you, should go, you should go ask a bunch of boys because you've only asked two. Oh, yeah, yeah. My mom said with my brothers it was like way up here. Okay. And with the girls it was down here. Sag lower. Yeah. Sag lower. Know, Get down like, there. Up, though. Yeah. <laughs> it is? She's like, baby, I feel it here. And I'm like, no, no. And then she's been glowing and really beautiful, and that's supposed to be a boy thing. Yeah, boy, yeah. And I was like, get ugly. <laughs> Where are the pimples? Where are your pimples, babe? Give me a girl. Oh, there's Sasha. Yeah. Enjoy. And then everybody else. Aww. Hi, beauties. I'll be there. Right. Everybody, let's go to the back for the gender reveal. The basketball court. Are we about to burn down California? Not that extra. Oh my god, they're fucking cute. Where is it? Everyone's waiting. <laughs> Record on this computer. Friends and family, you all know my preference. As a lesbian couple, we have no reference. A weenie, a peepee, -pee, or he in the house. Wet dreams, boners, whatever's aroused. A turkey baster kit was the pod baby inception. My wife's still a virgin, that's immaculate conception. My brother, the sperm donor, is father and uncle. Combine that, 50 bucks, we call him a funkel. I met Becky on Bumble, she said she could build. Help me finish this location, she's definitely skilled. But she could build more than that, as I came to learn. A better person, a baby, and a redefined home. She quit her high paying job for a startup with me. She, we jumped straight over the wedding to become a mommy. Today is the day that fate offers detail. Trailblazing female or compassionate male. I'm told that either sex, this child has it good. Bex makes a great mom, and I act like a dude. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, three, okay? One, two, three. three. Yeah. semi-pro amateur athletes and then they had me and then they couldn't compete you came out that fast i guess i'll be now isn't but, that a weird story but what do you mean an accident i mean because 
they they thought that they wouldn't be able to have a kid. Oh, they didn't think they were fertile? Because my dad was my mom's coach. So, like, I destroyed their career. <laughs> Supposedly. I feel bad about it still. I don't think you should be mad. Yeah. I said my mom told my dad that she was on birth control, and then it turns out that she wasn't. So here I am. <laughs> Who told you that story? My mom was crazy. No, it's true. My dad told me that story, but my mom isn't around, so who knows? Oh really? Yeah. Valentina and Marissa are both like accidental babies. Accidental babies? I said accident to one person, which is my dad. My mom told my dad she was on birth control, and then it turns out she wasn't. Oh my god. So you were a. Uh, what's a love child? No. You were a trap. A baby trap. Yes. A baby trap. Did she trap him though? Yeah, to be fair, my mom was like 16 and my dad was 18. And then they got married because they were in the South and their parents were both religious. So they shouldn't have been married, but they got married. Baby trap. Baby trap. What are you making? Just some strawberries. Healthy? Just some strawberries and like Sugar? some cheese. Yeah, some <laughs> sugar and cheese. Where's the cheese? Right here. Did you have enough cheese? Oh, that's whole cheddar. I didn't realize that was mango. <laughs> I was my father's last ditch effort at saving the marriage. Mm. Oh, you mm -hmm. love those things. And then my mom was like, I prayed for you. And I was like, do you see what happened? You gotta love those. Do you know too. what you asked for? Well, you know, I heard that you were never an accident. Like, someone told me that, like, nobody is an accident. A surprise. Yeah. My son was not an accident. My son was a surprise. And he fixed my life. It wasn't. It wasn't a mistake. Yeah. Oh God, no. Everyone who's like here on Earth is like meant to be. I also Earth. used to like. I don't know. Use my kid as an excuse when I was in high school. People would be like, "Oh, do you want to go to a bush party?" And I was like, mm, "Got my kid. Sorry." Even though he was at his dad's. <sighs> and then they all got arrested, and I was fine. <laughs> so were you a mistake or a loving parent? Like product of a loving parent. Yes, I was the product of two 16-year-old kids in Same. the north side of Chicago, and um, soon thereafter they split up. So the two 16-year-olds have you by accident because in Chicago they don't know about contraceptives, <laughs> and then what happens? <laughs> then they made this very humble, very boy. humble, very nice boy. And they, uh, they split up, like I said. At what age? Um, well, they were probably on and off for a while, but I mean, at about 18 probably. And then my mother and I moved to Pennsylvania with my grandmother while she was finishing her master's degree. So you the opposite end. And then, and then we moved to Florida, and then we moved back to Chicago when my sister was going to be born so that my grandmother could help. To a different guy. Yes, to a different, yes. To a stepdad. Uh, yeah. What do you mean? Accident? Oh, I was an accident too. So what's that story? My mother was like prom queen, and, but she was pregnant. Eighteen. My, mo my mom, she didn't know I was. She didn't know she was pregnant. She was like, she was like getting sickness and stuff. Oh, she pregnant. didn't know. Uh, she was just trying to take care of her family. Like she was like mowing lawns and stuff. At eighteen. Yeah, she they were living on a navy was, naval the base. Oh, the guy was a navy guy. My dad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he was in the navy. He was a fireman on a, on the like on a. Navy ship. Did they stay together? No. Oh. So what had happened was, after their after their Cali experience, my mom, you know, they broke up and oh, okay. so they what? separated, and then my mom went to um, she moved to yeah. Atlanta. My younger brother was actually an accident. Like my mom got her tubes tied, and she thought she couldn't have any more kids. <laughs> and then like ten like ten years when I was like ten years old, and then my little brother was born. My mom was like surprised. <laughs> How did they mess that up? You haven't seen your birth call? No, ever. What? Yeah. What? My dad got full custody, which is like super unheard of. Well, because she was such a Yeah, but usually the court, even in cases like that, rules in favor of the mom because like it's the mom. Yeah. And then my dad got full custody of me. And they told my dad that she had to like contact him for visitation and she never did. So, wow. so then I got full custody. Yeah, my dad was full custody. So how'd you turn out so good? I guess my mom and my dad. Uh, yeah. you, don't, yeah. you don't remember when you were born. You just know what you're taught. Yeah. 
You're not bitter. You don't no, I'm not. Bitter. Like I said, I don't have like a void in my life or anything like that, so it's not so big of a deal. A child didn't choose to come onto this earth, nor do they choose their sex or gender. And so it's important not to put our adult preconceived notions onto them in order to negatively impact them. For example, if you wanted to be a baseball player, you shouldn't have your son or daughter try to be a baseball player. Perhaps that's not what they want to do. In my case, my father really wanted me to be a son. And that was expressed multiple times throughout my life in different age. And I was told, I wish you were a son. I wish you were a son. Where at first I would get upset, then I got angry, and then it led me to try to prove that I could be better than a son. And that's been my whole existence, my whole life. So everything I do in the back of my mind is to prove that I'm worthy to my parents and the world. But it definitely spurs from a place of competitiveness with this unknown gender. And my parents could be apologetic about this, but the fact of the matter is I and Rebecca also want a daughter. So I would hate to push this feeling onto my son that oh I wish you were a daughter so that he has to live his whole life trying to prove to me like I proved to my father that he's just as good as a daughter so I have a lesson I have to learn and Rebecca has to learn and something that we have to let our child love be loved and be free